Welcome back to Potato League, my boy Spud. Today we're gonna go over a replay where I got all in, or I think I got all in by a Terran. Um, he got up. He there was a, a, a flatline. Oh, I'll just show you the damn thing. Here we go. This is easier. His worker stopped at about forty for six, seven, eight, nine, three minutes, so pretty aggressive, and then it jumped up to 50, and then it just stayed there. So I might have gotten a third base during this time, but there was an, there's a huge amount of pressure coming out um, from him. There's a lot of army value coming out. And I lost, so I want to talk about why I lost. So let's get right into the replay. Let's take a look at it. So uh, I'm going to be grading myself again based on this, plan and strategy, macro, micro, give myself a rank. So last time, as you could see, I did, um, uh, I got a D on my last time. And the recent problems is I need to improve my macro and scouting in the first five minutes is what the result of the last episode was. So this time I'm going to be kind of keeping that in mind, but also we're going to talk about the new, um, the new score here. So we're, it's only a 12 minute replay. We're going to watch it. I'm going to take some notes here while I... I'll do it. I got some StarCraft music on in the background, so I hope you enjoy it. So it's a little bit dark. Anyway. So beginning, nothing too bad. I'm doing a good job here. Hatchery doesn't... Goes down at a good time. We're all right. Now, one thing I was thinking about today while I was coming home, I just got back from work as well, I'm still in my nice shirt. Um, is I should have maybe done more roach play against this because I have this kind of um, I, I got to I, I used to play this roach all in not a roach all in but the roach max build from Stefano I, I, used, I did that all the way up until platinum so I did that build probably like 300 times on the ladder against all races back when I was a low leaguer in gold and silver and stuff like that and I'm still a low leaguer in diamond but um lower leaguer and i got into this this kind of mental state where i feel like roaches are just a bad unit and i don't like to use them so i kind of avoid them unless it's a zvz um i do a roach timing in protoss now but i kind of get off of roaches really fast i either all in on roaches or i do like 10 roaches and then immediately go into the hydra lurker and it's been working pretty well but this all in was marine hellbat Marine Hellion, and it just ate my um, my Zerglings. And I tried to go Ling Bane, but I don't know my composition. I overdroned a lot. So I just want to kind of look at this replay and set in a set of rules that I should be using to react to this. So my opener right now, I've not had any issues with my opener. Hey, <laughs> I get it. I'm trying Your to block it. Are taking damage. Now I get supply blocked on this one. That's right. He comes out. I'm trying to stay up on the high ground get away from him, but he sends two marines up, so I know I'm going to lose this overlord. I'm like, alright, let's just try to stay on my build as much as possible. So my macro is going to slip a little bit because I'm going to lose this overlord, and I don't have a set idea of what I should be doing right now. So I make two overlords right away. A new queen has emerged. Still able to get these queens out. Here comes my lings. So I think I'm going to try to send my lings across the map because... Um, I know there's no Reaper, and I want to take a look at what he's doing. So already I'm kind of in this weird um, position where I'm like, I need to know what he's up to because he killed my Overlord, which means he's trying to hide something, which I'm going to assume is a timing. But I'm just going to kind of watch this replay through right now. My macro isn't horrible at the moment. I forgot my second queen. Just scouting right now. My macro isn't terrible. So I see that he's got two barracks and a bunch of marines, and he's building more barracks. So I'm looking at this going, okay, this is a pretty aggressive build. I'm thinking it's probably an all-in. But I still don't know for sure. Because I never started that queen, starting those queens. My queens are a little bit late. My macro isn't bad. Like, I'm not, I'm not getting supply blocked. I'm staying under 100 minerals when I'm not scouting and stuff like that. For my level, this is, uh, this is acceptable macro for right now so build order wise it's okay positioning wise i've got good map vision down on the mini map so i'm not too worried about that my scouting is okay i know what he's doing but i don't know when he's moving out i've got things down all the attack paths right now 
but I don't know his composition, so my scouting could be better. And because I don't know what his composition is, well, I know it's going to be a crap ton of Marines. So immediately I'm like, oh, Banes would be a good idea. So I'm thinking Ling Queen, Bane. I need to connect my bases with creep, and I need to have more creep spread. So I'm really heavily injecting right now. I think this is a bad idea. Defensively, creep is better than larva. Uh, offensively, larva is better than creep. So because I'm playing a more defensive, because I feel like I'm getting all in, I need to be more careful about how I approach uh, this matchup. So I see him moving out. And now what's my reaction? So right now, 447 is when he moves out. Let's see what's going on on his side of the map right now. He has 44 workers. Uh, no, he has 39 workers. And he's moving out. Okay. So I didn't know how many gases he has or anything like that. He is a very, this is a very aggressive opener. And his army composition, he's got 19 marines. So he's moving out right now with just some marines. So let's see when this actually hits my base. So right now, I don't have a lot of army, but I do have a bunch of queens right now. I have almost seven queens. Let's keep going. So, so far, I don't mind my what I'm doing right now. I'm making a bunch of lings. I'm making a baneling nest. But the baneling nest, okay, this is a problem. I've made this mistake before. I am starting a tech tree to defend the the push that's coming right now. This push is coming right now. It's already halfway across the map, and I'm just now dropping my baneling nest. If I wanted to use banelings against this, I needed to have this baneling nest much earlier, probably around 44 supplies when I should have been dropping my uh, baneling nest. So because now one of the bad reactions I'm going to make during this is I'm trying to defend something with tech I don't have available right now. What I do have is a lot of mineral mining. I have fifth, I have 44 workers, basically two saturated mineral lines and half saturation on my third. So I have the ability to make a lot of queens and a lot of lings. And I should have maybe just stayed on that path. But he's going to have hellions and marines. So as long as I get a good surround, I should be okay. Let's take this first fight and see what happens. New queen has emerged. So I've got a bunch of queens. I've got all my queens on the same place. And now, again, I'm starting to spread creep now. I'm doing all these reactions way too late. I needed to have creep spread first. If I feel like I need to be more defensive, I need to have creep spread faster. If I need to be more offensive, I need tumors faster. So starting the layer is also a good thing to have starting now so I can advance my tech and get upgrades and, and you know do other things if I can hold this defense off. Trying to break some rocks. And now here comes the attack. A new queen has emerged. Trying to run around, just lose all those lings. That was not good. I'm taking a fight off of creep. Okay. So I'm floating a bunch of minerals right now, and I'm making just more lings. I have the ability to make banelings right now. So immediately what I should be doing is seeing what he's doing on his side of the base. And I am sending my lings across. I didn't see the minimap. I didn't see the minimap. I just saw it now that I passed some things on the minimap, so maybe I'm gonna back up here in a second. But I see that there's no base. Let's take a pause. Let's take a pause and let's take a look at what's going on right now. 50 workers to 42 workers. So he's up on 42 workers now. He's slowly kind of making workers. One at a time. And now we're adding on production. So, honestly, the very beginning of this game was really not a problem. Not a problem at all. Instead of making an ass load of lings, I should have probably just gotten up to 66 workers and, and uh, just gone defensive after that. Trying to get into his base, trying to get some damage done. The reason that I'm fighting the, that was because there were he had to either lower down the gate and I would have just sent lings in. Now the Bane Bust. Okay, so this is where I'm going to start making mistakes. I didn't need to do this attack. I didn't need to do this attack. I should have canceled all of that and gone home. I didn't need to do this at all. I don't have Baneling speed, I don't have anything. He's got Liberators out now. In his base. I'm gonna send up Banelings into his mineral line. So I feel like Yeah. So this is just me floating 1,600 minerals and trying to get some damage done. I didn't get any of the damage done on that. But now I'm up on 
a whole bunch of workers. So let's take a look at work count. 65. I could have had that much faster, and now I could have been laying in this aggression. So the rule of the, the game is that I, I have this rule earlier as well. Also, let's take a, let's let's stop a second here. While I was fucking around with those lings and banes, what I wasn't doing was I wasn't starting these upgrades. I still don't have one one. I still don't have bane speed. I still don't have a hydralisk den. I made a lot of banelings, and I didn't spend any of that gas to advance my tech. He probably has upgrades coming right now. He's got combat shields almost finished, so he's got way more upgrades. He's got stim, concussive shells, and he will also have. Uh, Combat shields very soon. He doesn't have any upgrades left, but I made a bunch of lings and banes when I didn't need to. The lings could have just um, could have just denied this space here and kept map control. So the first push wasn't bad at all. I just made a really bad decision for my follow up. So I think I'm fine. I think I know why I lost this game now. Let's just put it on times two, and let's watch the rest of this match. So I don't need any sort of, I don't need any sort of, uh, what is it? Um, I don't need a roach, roaches to hold off an attack like this. And now if I had just advanced my tech faster, I'm starting to make hydras right now after not doing anything for the whole beginning of the game. I could have just had hydras right now. I could have just had it. I could have just had baneling speed. I could have just had everything, more creep spread and everything. So my macro... Uh, my decision making was what cost me this game to do that baneling bust was a terrible terrible decision I'm gonna let him take that base. I'm gonna try to take a base to the south Let's take a look at the map Still hasn't expanded I see him coming in here. I've got my banes. I'm trying to take let him come into creep Right now. I'm still ahead of him economically did kill some workers with that. Killed 12 workers with that last push. Mutation complete. Hey, your base is under attack, man. Oh, and I lose that base, which is why I don't send it off to it. Okay. Take a look at workers. 47. Does he have a third base? Yes, he does. Now, now it's not good. Okay. we take this attack off creep this is also another really bad idea don't need to attack this right now that was another good clean up mutation complete so creative he's got another army coming out right now i just don't have creep spread Complete. Should I keep sending these armies in? Your drones are under attack. Now he's going widow mines. I'm gonna take some nasty trades. Yep, and now the worker count is probably even, so I'm behind. Okay, so yeah, the reason I'm losing this game is a lot of engagements and things like that, but the biggest reason is I did I cleaned up his first aggression when I had lings and things left over, and then I was like, let's do a baneling bust and just try to close this game out right now, and I couldn't. I didn't do anything, so... Okay. So I lost this game. So let's go over. Let's go into... Let's go into here. I'm going to go into Potato League, and we're going to write some stuff down. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Here we go. So let's take a look here. Build order. I did pretty well on my build order. So out of five... I'm going to try not to blow into the mic again. Sorry about that. So my build order... I'm going to say I lost an overlord, but I picked it up pretty well. I was still doing the right things. So I'm going to give myself... Um, what is it? Five is perfect. Can't see in it. So I'm going to say I'm going to give myself a three on this one. I just want to give myself a three. I'm sure there were there was a couple minor problems of me getting supply blocked and things like that, but I lost that overlord, which kind of threw me off. And I didn't make any like dry, like I forgot my layer. I didn't do anything like that. Um, my positioning in the beginning was okay. I did a good job of surrounding his army. I took a fight off of creep, which was dangerous, but because we're in diamond two, 
I did okay. So I'm going to give myself... Um, I took the fight off of creep, which was bad. Uh, so I'm going to give myself a two. Because uh, I had a couple uh, problems with that um, engagement. Scouting. I'm going to give myself a three on scouting. The only issue that I, I had was I didn't know... Um, exactly when his third was going down but i saw the move out i saw the composition i was able to identify that he was doing a really aggressive build at the beginning so i'm going to give myself a three as far as the reactions go in the beginning i'm also going to give myself just a two i made some kind of funky decisions with that um i didn't do perfectly at the very bottom of the screen is the five four three two one zero um idea so uh I, I must have watched a really really bad replay the first time around this is this is rough but um uh i didn't uh i reacted okay doing lings and queens against what that was was good no 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 no. i'm gonna give myself a i'm gonna give myself a one because the first thing i did when he was trying to come across the map was i'm i'm gonna drop a baneling nest and i remember i was thinking i want to drop this baneling nest so i can i can have this to defend his push i'm glad i dropped it because i was able to use it to defend the follow-up pushes but because i had the baneling nest really is why i lost because i was like let's do baneling bust now and that was the worst thing i could have done with slow banelings uh, Baneling bust past the six minute mark is a terrible idea against Terran because he has stim and he can just bait back. So bad reactions, bad, bad, bad reactions to what was going on. Bad decision making. So let's go down to spending. I didn't do bad in the beginning. Th uh, this is within the first five minutes. First five minutes. I pull my mic away from my face. Sorry. So within the first five minutes, my spending wasn't too bad. I had some minor issues because of the uh, overlord block. So I'm gonna give myself a two. Um, I didn't just have one little small thing. Supply block. I don't remember getting supply blocked throughout the game. Besides when I lost the Overlord. So we're going to give myself a three just because I lost an Overlord. I lost an Overlord. Creep injects. Creep slash injects. This I'm going to give myself a zero. This is a zero because again at the beginning of the game defensively creep is very good offensively injects are very good you have to balance them uh you can't have all or the other and i was i had three queens where he was going to come up and i knew he was going to be coming up into my third because that's where a good terran will attack it's your third base <clears throat> and the other choke point on the other side is really small he can't really get up and in, in and around it unless he was doing a tank push and he wasn't doing a tank push i didn't know he was doing he wasn't doing a tank push but that's besides the point um, so I'm going to give myself a zero on this. I should have done more injecting and less creep, which would have made me float more minerals, but then I could have done, um, more spines or something like that instead to counteract. I had too many workers of things. So this was just bad. I didn't have the creep spread that I wanted to have to help defend his first push. That's one of the best powers of creep spread is if you have creep spread, it delays their push that much more because they don't just walk into creep. That's so dangerous. I could have a bunch of banelings behind it. Um, he would scan obviously, but... You don't just you don't just run into creep as Terran on this level. Uh, micro my engagements. I would say the beginning of the game I did really well, but the baneling bust and everything like that was really really bad. I was attacking under some liberators and stuff like that, so I want to give myself a one. Um, uh, now I'm gonna give myself a zero. I had many mistakes with that. Unit control. Um, yeah, let's do zero again. I wasn't microing very well. Uh, I must have microed the balls out of my first game right here in game number one. Uh, group control, this was fine. I, I didn't have any issues with my group control. So, let's see. Let's go through one more time. I like this. Uh, I like... Oh, maybe you could have seen my mouse. I don't know if you could see my mouse there. But uh, I, like, I like these grades. Let's jump back really quick. Let's jump back really quick. Take a look. Good luck, have fun. Times two, just see everything going on. So times four. So, what would have been better? Let's go down, okay. Overlord's going out to check for proxies, so my scouting is still good. I'm glad I only lost one Overlord. I'm glad to keep the second Overlord home. SCV coming out, trying to catch my overlord. He finds him. Very nice. 
Bird Overlord coming out. I send my Lings across. So this was a good idea. I like this idea. If I do lose my Overlord, I'm going to send a Ling out to see what the heck's going on. And then, yeah, this is just, he's got a lot of barracks going down. Three barracks this early. I knew that there was more than, um, I should have checked these. What was it, what he was trying to make? I know that there's a barracks on the high ground, and him building two more barracks means that he has three. So that's a lot of barracks. So coming out here, good having map vision to see what was going on. I didn't have the creep spread because I'm just injecting right now. This is bad. I'm making the baneling nest. This is bad. I got all my queens together, though, so this is pretty good. The positioning isn't terrible. And I was able to pick them all up. And here, this is where I made my mistakes. I'm making a bunch of workers. Right there. Let's go back a second. I made 13 banelings. I had 200, I had 300 gas. So I could have gone 150. I had 350 gas. So that could have been, let's see, that could have been 100, 250, 300, 50. Wait, 300, 150. So that's 300 right there. I would have been 100 gas. I would have been just now 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I would have been able to start all three of these upgrades right now. And then once I get my next 100 right there, I would have been able to start Hydralisk Den, which I did start. That's about a minute late. Um, and that's only because I had to make a bunch of lings in the beginning to defend. But now I have nothing and he has an army. I've got a lot of workers, which was a good idea. But I lost a lot of queens during that first fight. A lot of queens. And I'm starting to remake them. But again, all these queens have a lot of energy. Lots of energy. And I'm not injecting or creep spreading or doing anything with them. I'm just kind of sitting them at home. Having energy queens is good because um, you can do things like transfuse. But transfuse isn't really good again when you have just mass lings. It's different if you've got like roaches or, or lurkers or brood lords or ultras or something like that. Yeah. Yep, and he's just moving slowly in, which is good. Got some worker kills. Trying to clean up some creep. On mass liberator. Making mass banes. I should have gone more hydras. I had, I had a good Bane count, but more Hydras would have been better. Hydras are really the backbone to this army. And yeah, because I only had a few Hydras, I couldn't take out these Liberators. And if I had killed all these Liberators, this would have been a very different game right now. So the Banes are taking out his army down here very well. But honestly, I could just mass Lings around that. Yeah. Hydras are way better than Bane Lings. By far. Okay, so I'm happy with this. So the recent problems I had is, uh, for this one, is I need to improve macro and scouting in the first five minutes. That's good. I'm going to keep that one. However, I'm going to add... Uh, na -na 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 -na. I'm going to add... Hold on. Where the hell is it? There it is. We're going to um, make better decisions between creep and injects and uh, no vein busts. It's not perfectly aligned, but that's fine. So, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Potato League. I hope you learned something. Um, I hope you guys can take this as a humbling experience uh, for yourself, even, and be willing to stop and look at a game and go, ah, Terran's OP, or ah, Zerg can just do this, or Protoss just always wins, and really look at your decision making in the game and say, okay, why did I do this? Was this really the best thing to do? Was send a bunch of Banelings into his base that did almost nothing? Spent 300 gas on those Banelings and they accomplished almost nothing. They didn't slow him down that much. Yeah, I could have had just more stuff and been in a better position, but nope. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.